Hello everyone, my name is Roya and today I'm going to be telling you about some of my favorite series that are still going. So anyway, this is part of just kind of a series of series videos that I'm going to film uh, that I'm going to post this month because this month is Series September and Series September is a thing that is hosted by Elizabeth from the Owlery Books and I will leave a link to her channel down below if you want to check it out if you haven't already and basically the whole idea obviously is to read series books this month. So um, anyway, as just kind of a thing that uh, she's also doing, um, she's she's um, filming a bunch of series videos for this as well. And um, before she even said she was doing that, I thought it would be a really good idea to do this. So I'm doing this too. So if you have a request for a particular series video that you would like to see, um, please let me know because um, I would definitely, I can definitely use some ideas because I already recently posted uh, like a few months ago, I posted a video about series that I'm not going to finish, and since that hasn't changed at all, that's still the same, that video is not very old, I can't do that topic for this. So, yeah, I could definitely use some, some suggestions from you guys if you have any. But anyway, uh, let's just get on to the series that I like that are still going. My new absolute favorite, of course, is the Queen's Thief series by Megan Whelan Turner. Their first book is The Thief. This is the second one, The Queen of Atolia. There are five books so far, um, and I've read all of them, and they are all fantastic. The second and third ones are my absolute favorites, I swear. Like, um, so basically, um, I love the way that this book kind of doesn't necessarily stick to whether it's first person or third person or who it follows. Like, it even switches between first person and third person in the same book, and, um, it's actually really brilliant the way that she does it because she didn't even think about, oh, nobody does that or anything like that. She just kind of did it. I love all the characters in this. I love that they're badass women and everything and it is just amazing. Um, seriously, if you haven't read this series, like, what are you doing with your life? They are amazing books. The next one is another one that I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about on this channel before and that is the Green Rider series. There are currently six books um, out. The sixth one just came out and typically the wait time between these books are like, is like maybe three to five years or something. So uh, I had just gotten into the series when the fourth book was about to come out. Um, so I read the fourth one pretty soon after I read the first three and then I had to wait five years for the next one and that was horrible. Um, yeah, so, but if you want to start the series now, there are six of them. So you can get through six and the sixth one does not end on a cliffhanger. So if there are like three to five years in between books again, you don't have to like wonder what the heck happened. Um, so this series is just absolutely brilliant. I love everything about it. I love all the stuff that goes on. Um, I love that each book kind of starts following a different conflict, but it's actually all tied together as part of the same thing as well. Another big favorite of mine that is still an ongoing series is The Mistorn Witches by Barb Hendy. And Barb Hendy is the co-author along with her husband of the Noble Dead saga, which I also love, but that series is now finished. So I can't say that that's a favorite ongoing series because it's not ongoing anymore, but this one is still ongoing. There are four books. Um, they were coming out with one about every year, but this year they didn't. So um, I guess like it'll be next year before the fifth one comes out, but it is basically this really awesome series about these two girls named Amelie and Celine, and they are sisters and one of them can see people's futures and the other one can see people's pasts and it leads them to have to like solve all this stuff and figure out what happened in all these random cases and like the Green Rider series it does follow a different conflict every time but they are all tied together as well um, and with each book you kind of get closer to what the overarching conflict is and all of that so it's really really awesome. The next one is going to be very obvious and that is Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake and I almost didn't talk about this one just because it's so hyped already. Um, you guys probably don't need me to talk about it, but I love this series, so I just really had to talk about it anyway. The second book is coming out in, like, a month, and as I'm filming this, it will probably about to be out when I post this, and I seriously can't wait to read it. I'm dying. So anyway, um, yeah, seriously, if you haven't read this, you should totally go read it. This was going to just be a duology, but now it's actually been extended to four books, and I think that the um, 
third and fourth one follow a slightly different like thing than the first two so um because the first two were the ones that were planned already they didn't like extend the second one to be three books or something like that um like i think it's been hinted that's been hinted at um but i guess we won't really find out until the second book is out and finally the diviners by Luba bray i just read these two the two books that are out right now um this year so yeah they, they, they these books are so so incredible and they're just so good and the third one is finally coming out this year so yay it's coming out in like a couple months so those are some of my favorite ongoing series let me know what some of yours are down in the comments and i will see you very soon with a new video bye